Hi guys, Brown here. Welcome back to the F1 Career Mode. Here today for part 55 for the Singapore Grand Prix. It's one of the best, one of the most physical and the longest in terms of time. This Grand Prix. If you missed the last episode, make sure to check that out before you see this one in Italy. We had a great battle with Max Verstappen. I'll leave it, leave it at that. But coming into Singapore, I wasn't feeling too confident and when we got into qualifying, I was less confident. You can see on the screen now, this was a mistake I made in Q3 and that's left us down in P10 on the grid. So, Williams wanted us to start on the hards. I'm not doing that because that's basically suicide. We're going to be starting on the mediums and then go into the hard so the reverse strategy of what Williams originally wanted us to do so that's the strategy and this is the grid so the grid then for the Singapore Grand Prix is Charles Leclerc getting another pole position with Carlos Sainz P2 P Gasly is a great P3 and Lando Norris an amazing P4 Kevin Magnussen has another good qualifying in P5 with Sebastian Vettel P6 Valtteri Bottas is 7th and Alex Albert getting his best qualifying of the season It's an all Williams rounding out the top 10 with George Russell just beating Brown Sergio Perez is 11th and has Daniel Ricciardo joining him on the same row Then comes Nico Hülkenberg with a 5th place group penalty alongside Devon Butler Lucas Weber is 15th with Roman Grosjean on 16th. Lance Stroll is P17 and Antonio Giovinazzi 18th. On the final row of the grid is the two heavyweights of Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. Here we go then there's a five red lights come on here in Singapore. It's lights out and away we go. It's going to be a good start for Charles Leclerc, uh, but it's not for Carlos Sainz as he's left defending his teammate into turn one. Lando Norris is falling backwards and we're briefly there up into P7 from P10, but we're falling backwards. We've lost out to Alex Albon again and now down the inside does defend Valtteri Bottas. Though we are back down into P9. But we have got our teammate George Russell at the start. As we, George Russell has a look at us back down the inside. We fought about it there on Valtteri Bottas. We couldn't do anything there, but we were all over the back of him. Fought about it again down the inside there. But Bottas defended pretty well there. So we're just going to have to sit here and wait for our opportunity into the the old Mickey Mouse section that used to be there and was very good but here we come then over the Anderson Bridge and we're going to send it like Felipe Massa did to Bruno Senna and we're past Valtteri Bottas there and that is a great move skipping on now to lap 10 we're in P8 and now we're thinking about P7 of Alex Albon well, Alex Albon gaining one place from the start he started P8 of course but we're all over the back of him again I think there isn't really anywhere to overtake until the Anderson Bridge again so we might have to be patient but sometimes I'm not very good at and now as we head over the Anderson Bridge again we're going to absolutely send it just copy and paste of what we did to Valtteri Bottas there skipping on to lap 3 this is Sebastian Vettel losing out to Lando Norris and we're going to go round the outside of Sebastian Vettel after we catch him napping and we get past the four time world champion but he's not done there he's going to try and go to the inside that kind of caught me out I then so I wanted to go to the inside of Lando Norris he then forces us wide to Sebastian Vettel we somehow defend Sebastian Vettel and now skipping on we're going to go down the inside of Lando Norris and he nearly hits the barrier there we were probably a bit aggressive but now here can Sebastian Vettel he's not giving up on Lando yet Lando locks up round the outside tries Sebastian Vettel they're still side by side we're kind of pulled away a bit 
and skipping on now to lap four. Here comes Pierre Gasly on the back of Charles Leclerc. He's going to try and go around the outside. We're on the back of Carlos Sainz, so you can see in the background. And Pierre Gasly sends it down the inside and takes the lead of this Singapore Grand Prix. Or does he? Charles Leclerc's hanging on, but in the end, the Monogaps is going to have to give up that position and have to settle for P2. We're on the back, we've caught, that's Kevin Magnussen, we've caught him out there somehow and now we're going to send it on Carlos Sainz and we're up into P3, what just happened there, we've somehow, in two corners, we've just got two positions, that is absolutely amazing there, so we're on to P3, but having a look at Charles Leclerc, we're going to send it down the inside and we've got Charles Leclerc and after five laps after starting all the way down in p10 we're now into p2 and hunting down charles leclerc and hunting down Pierre gasly rather as charles leclerc is holding off the other red bull of carlos Sainz, but not much longer as on lap six down the inside tries carlos Sainz. That will then go back to the outside and he gets the traction and he's past Charles Leclerc and Charles Leclerc is now going to have to settle for fourth in this race. Skip it on though to the end of lap six and those on the soft tyres have started to make their stops. Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc and in the background there you might have seen George Russell, our teammate, in the pit so they're going to go on to the mediums and I think if they if they can get the mediums to the end of the race from lap 6 or is it is a 31 lap race I'll be very amazed so they're probably on a two stop strategy now Carlos Sainz beating out Charles Leclerc so Ferrari couldn't beat Red Bull and get ahead of Carlos Sainz in the pits so everything's kind of the same on to lap 7 we are all over the back of Pierre Gasly his soft tyres are absolutely shot we're practically pushing him through the chicane and on lap 7 Pierre Gasly is going to unleash us and go into the pits and now we are just going to have to get our head down we're going to pit on lap 13 so we've got what 5 laps of up just getting the hammer down We'll have a brand new 20 second gap so just trying to maintain that it's going to be hard but if we can maintain it then we'll be sitting very pretty to try and win this race out of the pits can be gasly he's put on the hard so red bull splitting their strategies i think carlos has put on the mediums so red bull thinking things different there but on our paint it's all kicking off in the background. This is Max Verstappen, who we haven't seen much of. He started 19th, remember. It's all kicking off there. They're free wide. It's, Lan it's Lance Stroll on the inside. Lewis Hamilton's got past both of them. Max Verstappen goes down the inside of Lance Stroll. It's actually Giovinazzi, rather. Lewis Hamilton is the other Mercedes behind these two. But Max Verstappen, what a move, round the outside. Lance Stroll now is left defending. Lewis Hamilton who is left defending Carlos Sainz this is kind of copy and paste of what we saw in the actual Singapore Grand Prix as um, Max Verstappen locks up there but that's Charles Leclerc rather getting his way through so Max Verstappen here has jumped his teammate Ferrari splitting their strategies of course they would it's Hamilton V Charles Leclerc and Charles Leclerc has won out that battle and now Charles Leclerc is going to focus his attention to Lance Stroll as Lance Stroll defends him to the outside but Charles Leclerc has got the job done going into that chicane and what a move that is by the young Monogas what a move that is and I want to lap 10 and it's all kicking off again this is our teammate George Russell as that was I believe Valtteri Bottas having a battle there Lewis Hamilton is in the mix as well and they're still side by side Lance Stroll 
but Foundry Bottas, I think it was, no it's a Sebastian Vettel rather, sorry, gets the job done on Lance Stroll, now Lewis Hamilton is coming under attack from George Russell down the inside, meanwhile Lance Stroll is not done with Sebastian Vettel yet, they're side by side, there's so much action in this Singapore Grand Prix, it's absolutely amazing that Sebastian Vettel defends Lance Stroll to the outside George Russell sticking his nose in Lewis Hamilton can't do anything he's too far back but Sebastian Vettel is free and here comes round two but it of Charles Leclerc versus the Mercedes that time it is in this lap in this lap push now that time it is Antonio Giovinazzi you can see here that was Jeff telling us to pit this lap on lap 13 and now rounding the final corner you can see on our dash there's yellow flags and the safety car is out because Charles Leclerc after being absolutely amazing in this race getting his head down he is out of the Singapore Grand Prix after it looked like he was going to have a good result the safety car is out and those making the two stop so as we can see here, Carlos Sainz was on the mediums. So Pig Gasly sitting pretty now. He was he was just behind Daniel Ricciardo, remember, and George Russell. So this race has just got very very interesting. You've got those on the hard tyres already who have made their stop so they're not pitting and now you've got the two stoppers right in the mix so effectively those on the one stop are very good now we're going to come in to make our stop so we are going to pit here we could we are probably going to come out in the lead of this race but going back to my other point that basically the, the field, whatever it is after um, the order, is basically all for position because you've got the one stoppers, you've now got the two stoppers in the mix. We're going to come out and retain the lead. So we've jumped Gasly, which is good. Daniel Ricciardo stays out there, he's on the hards. So and also Sergio Perez then it's Pierre Gasly behind them two in the Red Bull so Pierre Gasly going to be after a stasis for position so but I think they started on the hard so not sure what they're doing but lap 14 it is probably a bit far to then go on to the mediums so, however this field of race we're leading from Daniel Ricciardo from Lance Stroll from Pierre Gasly, Butler, Verstappen, Giovinazzi, Vettel, Magnussen, then it's Lewis Hamilton, Lando Norris, Hulkenberg, Bottas, Albon, Weber, Grosjean, and then Carlos Sainz, George Russell, and rounding out the field is Sergio Perez. On to lap 15 now. And the safety car is coming in and we, for I think the first time this season or possibly the second, we will restart this race. We're going to go very, very slow because it's, it's a weird final sector. Of course, we could probably absolutely bolt now, but we've made a mistake. We've got two, you've got a lot of corners. You've got this game we're going through now. You've then got here this left hander when we go under the grandstand and then you've got the other chicane where if we made a mistake we would lose the position so we're just we're going to back everyone up and to literally probably walk in pace it quicker you can see we're practically stopped if you're at the back so if you're Sergio Perez in last you probably stop here but as we go into that final chicane, we're going to put the foot down and we are going to restart this Singapore Grand Prix. We round the final corner, lap 16, there's 14 to go, if I can do maths right. There's 15 to go, as this is everyone flooding through 
round the first couple of corners and on to lap 16, the end of lap 16, Daniel Ricciardo and Lance Stroll come into the pits to make their one and only stop and also Max Verstappen and Devon Butler and I think that's Lewis Hamilton as well so I was saying about race position so I thought everyone had made those stops they hadn't so these two are now going to be miles behind anyone else in this race and that is practically their race over I don't know why the AI do this to themselves it's really odd on to lap 23 and out of the race goes George Russell his engine is blown which is very worrying for us there's still eight laps to go in this race if him if George Russell's engine has gone there's no reason why our engine won't go either in this race but on to the final lap we go we have a 20 we have a 12 point one second gap to Gasly and then a 32 second gap back to Bottas because when we overtook him he actually had um, damage to his front wing but no one could get past him but we're gonna round the final corner we're gonna win under the lights in Singapore for the second time Great job. You've done everything we wanted it's today. back to back but not only is it back to back, it's three in a row. We needed something like this. The championship probably still a li little bit too far out. When we go to Russia in a week, we're going to have to need something good. But we're definitely on track. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant. But here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams and they've got the race win to prove it. So that's been your Singapore Grand Prix. Bit of a messy one, I should have mentioned this at the start of the video. But basically there was a glitch with the audio for the game where the engine and sound for the cars. I was literally mid-race and it just cut. And then it didn't come back until I was like halfway through the replay cameras, like the, obviously that I record. So that was really odd. But obviously I could still, I could still hear Jeff but it just weren't any engine sound which was strange so hopefully that will be fixed for Russia um, in terms of the standings we're actually 4th so we're not that far off but in terms of points 32 points with what 6 rounds to go it's not impossible it's going to be hard but it's not impossible in the constructors we're 4th we're probably too far off to think about the constructors back into the paddock and you can see here we have saved some parts on the R&D if you missed the last video then we have got a regulation change coming for 2022 and we have some rumours as well circulating in the paddock about some drivers that could be switching it obviously is silly season but thank you very much for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe and comment what you think will happen in Russia and I will see you in Sochi. Goodbye.